this first tutorial, I'll show you how to get the tool up and running. This isn't a particularly complicated process, but there are one or two things that can go wrong, so I'll give you a full step-by-step -step guide. You can obtain the plugin files from Food for Rhino at the address www.foodforrhino.com forward slash app forward slash salamander dash free. You'll need a Food for Rhino login to do this, which is free. Once you have one, sign in and click the download button. The plugin files come in zip format. Save that zip somewhere on your machine. You may find that since this came from the internet, your operating system has blocked this. In order to unblock it on Windows 10, you can right click on the file, go down to properties and check this unblock box at the bottom of this form. Other versions of Windows have slightly different ways of doing it, but they're all basically similar. Click OK and then open up the zip. This zip contains the Salamander plugin files. Click Extract All and save them somewhere on your local machine. To install these files into Rhino, open up Rhino and then drag these RHP files into the Rhino window. The most important one is salamander.rhino.rhp. This is the main plugin file. The other two RHP files in here, salamander.rhino.import.rhp and salamander.rhino.export.rhp, add in the basic file types to the Rhino save and open menus. Another important file in here is salamander.rhino.rui. This is the salamander toolbar. If it hasn't loaded automatically, you can load it manually by dragging that file into Rhino as well. Finally, we'll install the Grasshopper components. To do this, type in Grasshopper to open up Grasshopper. You will of course need Grasshopper installed for this. And you can then load up the components by dragging and dropping them into Grasshopper. You may find that it automatically installed them, as in this case, in which case you can just click Replace All. The Salamander components will then appear under the Salamander Free tab. It's important to note that the Salamander Free Grasshopper components require the main plugin in order to operate, so you must install that first. All these files also need to be kept together in the same folder, so don't, for example, move that GHA file into the normal Grasshopper components folder, because then it won't be able to communicate with the rest of the plugin. Once you've done all that, in order to get Salamander Free itself running, you simply need to click this button on the toolbar or to type in the command Salamander Free. Salamander Free will then boot up and you will see its sidebar appear over here next to your layers table. For the following tutorials, I'm going to move this sidebar out and put it on the other side of the screen so that we can see both the Salamander sidebar and the layer table simultaneously. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.